In this video, I'm gonna be sharing a simple ChatGPT prompt engineering hack for beginners. Now, this is an ultimate prompt, so this is the only prompt you're gonna to need to create the best output from ChatGPT. And once I discovered this, my mind was just totally blown. So what exactly is prompt engineering? Well, who better to ask than ChatGPT itself? Hi, ChatGPT. Explain prompt engineering to me like I'm in grade five. All right, so it's gonna give you a bit, a bit of a detailed response here, but the main thing to take away is prompt engineering is like giving me the right instructions and context to help me understand what you want so I can provide the most accurate, helpful response. It's all about making sure we communicate effectively so you can get the information you're looking for. So it's about really creating some sort of question or prompt that is going to deliver the best results. So gonna help ChatGPT work out the context and exactly what you're after. So while yes, you can use ChatGPT as a search engine, a lot of people just ask simple questions, but by doing this, you're not allowing ChatGPT to really work to its full potential. In fact, I've seen AI used a lot like this, and we call this a basic prompt. And while it can deliver some value, it could be something you need right now, and it could be something that's just that little bit of info you need to get started or to come up with some ideas. Some ideas for these basic prompts are what is, what would you recommend, how can I, give me a strategy for, and give me 10 ideas of. So now let's look at something a little bit more specific. I've got a whole video on 10 prompts that you can copy and paste for content marketing. So if you're just wanting a really simple solution, go check out that video because those prompts might be exactly what you're looking for. So an example would be act like a blank and write a caption that explains blank that they shouldn't do, blah, blah, blah. So act like a world-class copywriter and write a caption that explains to a female entrepreneurs that they shouldn't, that they shouldn't compare themselves on social media. All right, so you could say act like a copywriter, act like a digital marketer, act like a doctor, act like a specialist, whatever it is that you want that expert to be, that's all you're asking ChatGPT to act like. Oh, he, they've even used some emojis, which is really nice to see. So this is a really great one that you might be able to literally copy and paste into your Instagram posts, or it may be something you wanna rework with your own tone of voice. Okay, so like you can see, this is a pretty good post, but I'm gonna take things even a step further. Now we're going into expert level here. So this is the ultimate prompt that you can use again and again for anything. And by using a prompt like this, this experts prompt that I have adapted and created based on other ones I've seen online, this prompt is going to help you really up level that content and make it even more engaging and in line with who you are as a brand. So do you wanna know what it is? Well, get ready to copy this one down. Act like a ChatGPT prompt engineer. Your goal is to help me craft the best possible prompt for you, ChatGPT, to give me the best possible response. From now on, we'll interact in the following sequence. Your first response will be to ask me what the prompt should be about. I will provide my answer, but we will need to improve this prompt through crucial iterations by going through the next three steps. You'll then request more details. You'll ask for three to five questions about my original prompt in order to fully understand what it is I want from you. Output these questions in an easy to answer list format. So this is really diving deep into making sure that whatever the output is that ChatGPT is giving, it's within context and it's detailed and it's relevant and it's gonna be more specific to what it is that you're doing, but it's gonna ask you those questions. So you don't have to know what you should be asking it. It's gonna ask those questions for you. I'll provide my answers to the questions which you'll use to craft the prompt. You will then act as my professional prompt engineer and create more detailed prompt for ChatGBT combining my original prompt along with the additional details provided in step three. Output this new prompt for ChatGBT and ask if I'm happy with it. If you fully understand uh, your assignment, respond with what's your prompt. All right, so let's give an example of how you could be using this. So here is just a simple example I just thought of off the top of my head. 
So create a blog post uh, about the benefits of email marketing for small business owners. Cool, so it's asked me a few questions. So what specific benefits of email marketing would you like to focus on? So we wanna focus on um, lead generation, newsletters and automations. Are there any statistics or case studies that you'd like to include to support the claims about benefits of email marketing? Um, so there's this quote about um, email marketing has a $36 ROI. Um, what else? 92% uh, of visitors to your website won't buy the first time. Like obviously you can get into way more detail here, but I'm just gonna keep this super simple. So target audience, is there a particular target audience or industry you have in mind? Uh, creative entrepreneurs. Are there any key tips or best practices that you would like to incorporate into this content? Um, consistency, well-written and laid out content. Let's just start with that. And then how would you like the post, uh, how would you like the blog post to be in terms of word count? Um, let's keep it um, 500 to 800 words. I know if I was asking for a blog post, I wouldn't think about including all this stuff in a prompt, right? So it's going to that next stage and it's given me a prompt. So we could either just go ahead and ask it to pull together this blog article using this prompt, which how amazing is this prompt? I would never come up with a prompt like this. So this looks pretty good, but I wanna actually take it up an even greater level and give it some examples of my tone of voice. And by doing this, it means that the blog is gonna come out more like how I write. So I'm gonna give it an example of a blog that I've written, um, as well as maybe a couple of, of posts I've written as well. So I'll just copy those in. All right, so I've added those examples in and I'll just let ChatGPT know that that is the tone of voice I would like. Um, and then we'll just ask it to go ahead with the prompt you created. Okay, so let's have a little read. Imagine this, you've built a stunning website, set up an Instagram account and even create a catchy logo, but let's get real for a moment. Oh my gosh, this is sounding exactly like my content. Has your marketing strategy stopped there? Are you solely relying on Instagram to grow your business? Asking rhetorical questions, which is something I do a lot. It's got your headers. Sure, you know the importance of your marketing, but are you... Are you hesitant to take the plunge? That's something I talk about a lot because I know a lot of my students really struggle to just get started because they're a bit overwhelmed and confused about where to get started. Um, yeah, amazing, cool. So this is pretty spot on. As you can see, like this is going to be a much better prompt than you would have got from, can you create a blog post about email marketing for me? This, to be honest, looks so good, I think I am gonna post this to my website. Um, I'll provide a link which you can go and see that. Uh, but yeah, this is such a great way to come up with content, even if it isn't your final, final piece, it's gonna give you such a better output that you can start taking it away for your own business, whether it be blog posts, emails, uh, Instagram posts, uh, anything else you're doing in your business. It could be writing a media release. It could be anything that's gonna help you improve your marketing. Um, or you could use it for a lot of other things as well. So tell me in the comments, are you gonna try out this amazing ultimate prompt and become a prompt engineer and really leverage the power of ChatGPT and use it for its full potential? If you are, drop a comment below and don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. I have more videos all about AI and ChatGPT and how you can be using this in your marketing. So go and check those ones out now. And otherwise, that's it for me for today. And I'll see you back here next time with another video I know you're gonna love. So until then, bye for now.